Welcome to uh, the lab for creating contact. So we already did the uh, creation of resources mailbox groups and mailboxes. So now it's time to create contact. So when you click on here, you have two options. One is mail contact and the other one is mail users. So mail contact, mail enable contact um, is the contact that uh, contains information regarding the people or organization with which exists outside of the exchange organization. So uh, in order to create that, you can simply click in here and say, for example, uh, Denver and then Denver Smith. And you can simply say Denver, Denver Smith because it is like having initial. And then alias is Denver and then External email address is denver at yahoo.com. So this is the external email address, uh, external email address, and we are creating a mail enable contact so that uh, your users will be able to send emails to, and this uh, mail contact is going to be available in your address book. So that's how you can create mail contacts for your external user account. So uh, that doesn't mean that this user will be able to log in to your Active Directory domain. The only thing that you can do with this user is you can send an email to this uh, uh, user or this uh, person uh, that you have created mail contact for because in most of the cases like your organization will always have like uh, a business with outside vendors or outside people so what you want to do is just to make your employees life easier you will just create this mail contact at the external external email address so that your employees can locate them easily from your exchange organization and send emails to them so the other one is mail user. So a mail uh, user, enabled user, is uh, something that it's it's a user that represents a user outside the exchange organization. So again, it is not a user inside your exchange organization. It is outside your exchange organization, and every mail user has an external email address so uh, they have an external email address and every message that is sent to the mail user are routed and directed toward this external email address so whenever you send an email it is going to be directed to this uh, mail user so one of the other uh, good things that I know about uh, mail user is that in most of the cases your execs like the CEO what they want to do is they want to uh, they want to create a mail user in your exchange organization and then they will say that hey you know what uh, whenever someone sends an email to my uh, for example CEO at local it should forward those emails to uh, my external uh, email address so what you can do uh, in order to accomplish that task you can simply uh, you can simply create a new mail user and then once you create it then you will be able to do the forwarding uh, from your inside uh, exchange organization to outside uh, email addresses so that's that's one of the way one of the benefits for creating mail users and uh, I'll, I'll just show you how so uh, for example this is going to be for CEO and uh, the external email address is CEO at uh, gmail.com and then this is uh, external user I will simply click on save all right so it is asking me that who is going to be uh, the uh, person who is uh, going to be using this so I'll simply click on browse and I'll select um, I'll select PLJ press save so now uh, the mail user is CEO at gmail.com and this belongs to the uh, PL Joe. So now if I go to, uh, for example, Jeff and I click on edit, so uh, we got different options in here. 
and one of the options that we have is uh, for example mailbox features and once you click on mailbox features you got an option in here which is mail flow and it says enable forwarding browse and I can simply click and use CEO at gmail.com so you see that's how you can uh, simply do the forwarding so any email that will be coming to Jeff Green it will be forwarded to CEO at gmail.com that's one of the uh, ways to use uh, user uh, user contact or user mail uh, whenever you want so this is this is uh, like two different things that you can do so you're creating like external email addresses or external accounts in inside mail accounts inside your exchange organization so that users can locate them easily and you can configure forwarding all those kind of things so I hope this was uh, useful and I'll see you next video